Axie, February Dev Update. Key Points. The Origin team is pushing as hard as possible to ensure an awesome experience for you all, and we're aiming to release an alpha by the end of March. We are making significant progress on land and the new art style is starting to shine. The Ronto can launch was smooth. It's time to build. Can you feel it? There's an excited, enthusiastic, deliberate energy emerging within the Axie Infinity ecosystem. Community members all around the world are passionately contributing to Axie in countless ways. Additionally, the pace is picking up within the Sky Mavis team, and all of the hard work that's been happening for months behind the scenes is starting to emerge. We are incredibly excited to see such a powerful collective commitment to our mission. There's so much to share, so let's get on with it. XE Infinity, Origin. The response to our recently released Origin sneak preview has been tremendous, thanks for all of the love and support. While there's so much we're excited to share with everyone, all of us at Sky Mavis love surprises too, so this month's Origin update will be brief. However, everyone seems to be in love with the green, handsomely mustache plant Axie, so, we'd like to take a moment to introduce you to Olak. Olak is a veteran warrior with a lifetime of fighting experience, who recently retired to become a turnip farmer. Since most of his body is plant-based, Olak has the ability to bury himself into the ground which allows him to absorb the soil's nutrients, and heal his injuries. One of Olek's most distinctive characteristics is the large scar on his back, which he acquired as he protected his fallen comrade during a ferocious battle many years ago. During this fight, Olek leaped in front of his friend just as a chimera viciously attacked, nearly killing Olek in the process. He was ultimately saved by his trusty helmet, which he still wears to this day, despite its rust and misshapen nature. Land, all of the talk and focus around the impending release of Origin, hasn't distracted a rapidly growing team responsible for developing Project K. They have been hard at work over the past month, improving the core economic features within the game engine. They have also started a sprint around non-player character, NPC, mechanics that will be included within the initial release. We were excited to see that a number of people and landholders within our Discord land channel, compiled a great list of questions for the development team to answer. Thanks for doing this. We'd like to start responding to some of those in various places, including development updates in our social media channels. As a reminder, please note that all of this information is subject to change as we go through the production process. Let's get started. What are the main changes that needed to be reworked which caused the delay in release, other than the move to 3D? The delayed release is mostly a byproduct of limited team personnel in 2021. While we now have a new full-time game designer and art director for Project K, it took considerable time to find the right fit for these roles, and we only gained more funding in the latter half of the year. However, throughout this recruitment process, we made considerable progress developing many of the art assets and underlying code base that doesn't need to be remade as we switch towards the new game perspective. When was the decision to go from 2D to 3D made? Members of the team have long believed that the game would be best as rendered 3D, but mostly influenced by strategic new hires, we officially made the switch last September. Can you provide any details about land management? There will be multiple phases to Project K's release, but the first test phase will primarily be focused around building up one's land in a town building type game, hence it will only be available to landowners. This will involve harvesting and trading resources as well as building and upgrading structures. The focus for this initial phase will be validating our base land game systems, and making sure it all works with a more limited gamer group. Will there be battles at all in land's first version? A major component of the initial gameplay will be selling crafted materials to NPCs, who will do battle across land. As we progress in our user testing, we are looking to incorporate AXS into this game loop, and landowners will be able to start earning AXS. That being said, we do want to share an in-game screenshot with you all. We want it to give you a sense of the scale we're imagining for the initial release of the game. The land plots have grown from when you've last seen them, each measuring 128x128 128 128 sectors. It's all coming together, 